Welcome fellow Walking Dead fans, Solid Dave Snake here, kicking off my reviews for the Walking Dead TV Series 9 action figures by McFarlane Toys. And to start it all off, we're going to take a look at this new Constable Michonne action figure. And this action figure for me is kind of bittersweet since McFarlane has now announced the can uh, cancellation of the Walking Dead TV series 5-inch action figures. It's kind of pointless to have her since we're not going to have a Constable Rick to go with her. Um, I was really surprised to begin with that Con Constable Rick wouldn't have been in this series when this series lineup was first announced. I thought it was very odd that we got a Constable Michonne without Constable Rick. And um, it all falls down to the cancellation of the five inch line, really. If it was continuing, I'm sure we would get a Constable Rick. But the, the cancellation of that five inch line is a subject that I'm going to do a completely different video on. So I'm not even going to get into that in this video. I'm sure uh, fans of my channel are. Um, Knowing that I'm not too happy about it, though. But uh, let's just get right into this Michonne. And this is the third Michonne that we have gotten in the TV series line of action figures. And to give you a little comparison, I'll pull out the previous two. And let's see if I can get them all to stand up here for us. And this new Michonne is actually a completely brand new sculpt. There are no reused parts. These two were drastically different. However, they did use the same hand molds and feet molds. But uh, this new Michonne is completely different. And if you can't tell, as I'm sure you can here on the uh, screen, I did not know Michonne went down in size as the show went on because the tallest action figure out of the three is the Series 3 Michonne. And then the Series 7 is even shorter than that. And I had actually previously done a comparison video of these two action figures, so I'll put a link in the uh, description below for this video of that video if you want to check it out. But uh, then this new Michonne, this Constable Michonne, is the shortest of the three. So I find that odd. They were uh, different scales for all three Michonnes. McFarlane should have done a little bit of a better job making her scale match up in each figure. But oh well. Um, it's kind of a weird little gripe. And I do feel like this action figure is too short. Um... And she actually comes with all reused accessories, which the katana and sheaf, that's fine, since uh, since she always has her katana. But this stub, uh, snub nose revolver she comes with, if I can get a focus on it, it's so tiny. Uh, let me get a focus on my hand here. Uh, it's not one to go. There we go. All right. And uh, refocused in the background. Unbelievable. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. All right. So this little snub nose revolver is the same one that had originally come with Carol. And it is the same except for the uh, paint job. It has a real dark black to it. And that silver dry brushing to make it look a little wore in and used. But that is the pistol she used while in this outfit, so that's fitting she comes with this. However, she does not have a holster or anywhere to hold it. And the katana and sheaf, once again, fits over her head and arm real nice. And sheaf is extremely pliable, so it's easy to work uh, getting over her shoulder and head. And her hair is really long, so you kind of have to work it over it as well and around it. And I just broke it, so <laughs> I'll have to glue that on after the video, but it's the same. And the sword will go all the way in the sheaf and come all the way out. Nothing new here. So kind of light on accessories, but that was all the stuff that she had while she was dressed up like this in uh, Alexandria. 
And for the third time in a row, we get a all-new head sculpt with this Michonne. And she does not have her headband this go-around. So this is the first Michonne head sculpt without that bandana. But she does have her dreads tied up here in the back. And the hair is very pliable. So, great job on the hair. And the face, once again, looks a lot like Deny. However, they have this weird black paint job under her eyes that give her really baggy eyes. So, I don't necessarily like how they did that. But I do like that pissed off look on her face. The rest of the paint job looks really good. Her eyes came out nice this go around. Lips came out nice. So that looks alright. And one nice detail on this is you can actually make out the logo on her shoulder. Which says Commonwealth of Virginia. Law Enforcement. Might be hard to read it on this video. Let me see if I can get an even closer focus. That's about as good as it's going to get, but with my eyes, I can read it. It is very tiny. And she does have a badge on her jacket. I always love how McFarlane uh, does these folds and wrinkles in the clothing of these smaller action figures. They do a good job with it. And if you remember in the episode when she was making her uniform, she did cut it up and make it smaller for herself and sewed it back up in the back so great attention to detail by McFarlane right there and even the cop shirt underneath has some nice weathering to it the jacket itself on her body is very pliable very big tie gray tie there And she, this Michonne does have new legs. All new mold. And they turned out pretty good. However, one complaint if I had any would be that they try to make the appearance of her pants coming all the way down on her shoes. Kind of over top her boots. And the, cl the colors are so close to each other, they just kind of bleed into each other. It's hard to tell where the sculpt ends, especially on the front. So, that looks a little odd. And for articulation, she's a lot like her last Michonne in Series 7. Her head is on a ball joint, which... You can get to rotate all the way around, but I don't want to pull on those dreads. And she will look that far down, that far up. Get a little tilt from side to side. Ball joint and hinge at the shoulders, which won't go up to 90 degrees. That's about as far as you're going to get it. But you can rotate it all the way around. Same thing at the elbows, which will hinge that far back, that far up. And you can get full rotation out of. And the ball joint and hinge at the hands, which will rotate all the way around. Hinge that far up, hinge that far back, and you can actually pinch that ball joint there and relocate that hinge to how you want it. And she has a cut at the waist. However, it's going to be restricted from going too much to the side from this front shirt. And she can do the full split and kick about that far up and it's restricted from the shirt and kick even further back because it's not restricted back there and at the knees we have the ball joint and hinge which will kick back to 90 degrees go back straight rotate all the way around and a ball joint and hinge at the foot which will hinge that far down that far up but you can get full rotation out of it 
So, all in all, I can't really highly recommend this action figure unless you're a big Michonne fan, a completist, um, just because they don't have the Constable Rick Grimes to go with her. If they decide to keep the 5-inch TV series line of action figures going and uh, eventually make a Constable Rick, that will make me appreciate this figure a lot more. But until then, this is, uh, my guess, is going to be a peg warmer because he's, I think, three per case. So there'll be a good many of her sitting around for a while, I'm sure. So you probably won't have a hard time finding her. The tough one to find in this series will be T-Dog. He is only one per case. And the Gutted Dell, which is not an exclusive anymore. So, all right, everybody, stay tuned. The next review will be the fan vote, and that is Beth. So I'll catch you then.